hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to see what is a cloud sort repository and a cloud build in a google cloud so first i'll just try to cover some theoretical aspect of it and then i'll go to a hands-on so mostly i believe in doing hands-on rather than first doing in a theoretical way so i'll just go to next slide and we'll try to explain what is a cloud source repositories in a google cloud so whenever you are working as a team or you are working on a large environment you have to maintain your source code for a better collaboration so for source code management in google cloud cloud source repositories are used so if you are aware of open source tools like a github or your bitbucket so these are open source source code management tools but in google cloud it is a cloud source repository so this is nothing but fully featured private git repository hosted on a google cloud so now it is easy to understand for you what is the difference so it is exactly similar as you are a git repo just it is hosted on a google cloud so you can just understand this this cloud source repository is nothing but a git repository is hosted on a google cloud so we'll create cloud source repositories in our console so before just we'll see what is cloud build also so these cloud builds are used to execute our builds on a google cloud so just take an example in our last video we created a docker file and we created a docker image using the docker build so these steps can be executed using the cloud build so we don't need to execute a commands to build our image even though suppose if we are creating the resources using the terraform you just need to manage our code so using cloud build you will just add your code into source code repository and once you commit your code the terraform init terraform plan and terraform apply will execute automatically in a different stages so this kind of execution you can automate using a cloud build so now you can correlate your cloud build as similar to your jenkins or a gitlab so it's not similar or it is not hosted on google cloud but you can assume these services are similar to a Jenkins or a GitLab. The similar way, we are using a cloud build to automate our CI CD pipeline or create our CI CD pipeline or automate our builds. So, without wasting much time, I'll go to Cloud Console and I'll create first a cloud source repository. So, I am on Cloud Console now. From here, I'll just type a source. So here source repositories now once i click on this it will just navigate away from our google cloud console so i'll click on this it will open mostly a new url here yeah now you could see this is a cloud source repository and here currently i have not created any repository so it is just guiding me to create a repository so i'll click on a get started create repository create a new repository so you can connect your existing repositories from github or bitbucket as well but here i'll connect a new repository and i'll click on continue so repository name i'll just give cloud source repository demo csr demo project i will use my project demo project okay and i'll create so we'll see how we can push our code to this cloud source repository as well okay now this is created now you can't see anything here so you can option you can see to clone your repository or push code from local git repository so first i will clone this repository even though this is empty so what i will do i will use a cloud shell so i'll go on this option google cloud sdk and i'll open a cloud shell here in my project and i'll just follow the steps mentioned here so they have given some set of commands here to execute gcloud init and then gcloud source repos clone so I think I don't need to do a gcloud init because my cloud shell is already initialized. Okay. So let me try to jump on this next step. Let me execute it. I think it's not copied.
okay i am using a gcloud source repos clone so it's similar to a git clone okay now it is cloned to csr demo let me see if i have any folder csr demo yeah here i have csr demo let me log in into this okay now you could see this dot git created here it means it is a managed git repository okay so i used ls a because this git is a hidden folder so it will show me a hidden folder as well now suppose i want to push my code so what i will do i have created code in my previous video which is available in my app folder so i'll copy from my app to this folder so i'll just copy from I'll copy both the file a main file and docker file from my app to csr demo now i'll go to csr demo and see the files are there okay so i have a docker file and main.py so let me just show you the content of that file i created a very basic web application here which was just printing hello world this is my application message and then I had one docker file which has configuration for creating the docker image okay so these two file I have now let me push this two file to my repository how we can push these two file so here now I have this command to push so before that I will just do usual uh, git command so first i'll add git add git commit hyphen yum yum is to specify message so i'm just giving initial commit or initial code okay so now you could see it created to file and now either i can do directly git push or i can do git push hyphen u master so even git push also work or i can execute the command given here it is just specifying the branch so we'll just use a git push okay now it pushed to by default master branch now let me go here and let me reload so currently it is not showing any code here let me reload here and it should show our two files yeah now you could see we have two files docker file and a main.py and if i go to history so here in history it will show multiple changes here so the commit you could say the initial comment the description which i mentioned as a comment so you can see this so we can use this as our source code management tool cloud source repository so that is for code source repository or a cloud source repository now what we'll do we'll create one pipeline using cloud build or we'll create build trigger first we'll create a build only using these two files we'll not execute a manually cloud build and i'll go to cloud build now So it is easy to understand if you do the hands-on first most of the concept will get clear so i'm using it here for first time so let me enable this api so i'm just including all these steps small things small errors and i'm trying to resolve it because any new learner is facing this issue they will understand what is the resolution for this issue or for these errors okay currently you could see there are no executions here so i'll go to triggers so 
here are no triggers as of now so i'll go dashboard and i'll set up triggers so i'll click on setup build triggers i'll just give the name as build demo okay now here what event it is available it is push to branch or i will keep it as a pull request let it or in response manual invocation i am not trying to automate it i'll just put it as a manual invocation okay so repository i'll use a source code repository which we created what configuration we need to mention we need to use a docker file so i will show you how to use yaml file as well if we are deploying it to app engine or if you are using the terraform but here we are creating the docker image so i'll just hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to see what is content select a docker file so let me check the command so you can verify the docker build command which earlier we were executing manually so it is by default it is showing here and i'll simply create it i am not customizing it more just a simple build trigger i am creating here okay now it not executed because i kept it manually in location so let me execute it and we'll see if there are any error so branch master repository already mentioned csr demo we'll just run a trigger okay and here i'll click on show so i'll show the logs once i click on this it will just show us a log of this build execution yeah so you could see the logs here if it is failing it will show the error message and all the things which we are doing manually installing flask everything it will do in cloud build now now you could see it's successful let me go to the gcr io and see if image is pushed there i don't think image would be pushed because it just a tagged image or created the image yeah you could see it pushed to gcr as well so we have build image you could see just now it pushed to a, our gcr so that's it for cloud build so we'll see more details on a cloud build whenever we are creating cicd pipeline using a terraform so thank you for watching this video